On the second day of our visit to Shanghai, our driver, Mr. Ling, and our guide, Portia Huang, drove us from our hotel to the Jade Buddha Temple, the name of which I couldn't seem to get right, despite Portia's two reminders. We're going through an old section of Shanghai. On the way to the Jade Temple, uh, Jade Buddha Temple. Yeah. In China, um, in general speaking, China is still regarded as a non-religious country because we have uh, more than 1.3 billion. So here's the temple we're aiming at, the Jade Temple. Jade Buddha Temple. Bright yeah. yellow. Jade Buddha. The Jade Buddha Temple indeed, because it was built in 1882 to house two jade sculptures of the Buddha brought here from Burma by a monk named Hui Gen. The sculpture survived the revolution of 1912 and a new temple was built in 1928. We're going into the Jade Temple. Here we go. Here's the main temple. Portia explains how it traditionally faces south for warmth in winter. Again, because of the geography in China, so the main building sits from the south to the north. And then the room, like uh, this kind of uh, location, is warm in winter and cool in summertime. At the south wall, we come upon the Temple of the Four Heavenly Kings, protecting the north, south, east, and west. And though they may appear angry and fierce, they are actually benevolent protectors of Buddha and his followers. An image for Chinese understanding for the universe. And they are the leader to standing behind, uh, uh, beside the uh, heaven, heaven door. Usually, happy Buddha is the first Buddha in the temple to welcome all the offerings. The happy Buddha. He is happy because he swallows everyone's sins, so he's got a full belly. The king of the east and the king of the south. Heaven king in the north, heaven king in the west. And why is he... Heaven king in the north and heaven king in the west. This is all the majestic. Souls, uh, departed souls gather under that umbrella. The umbrella is his weapon. Northern king wants the umbrella open like the jail to arrest all the demons. The king of the north is the chief king. I don't believe there's any consensus on just what that umbrella symbolizes. They are very smart and intellectual. Mm -hmm. They are very wise in a sense. The third eye is the we call heaven eye, we call ten yen, heaven eye. So he can, with the heaven open, he can look into your soul. Because after practice of the something, even like evil and demon, they can do in the practice to make their level much more higher. Then maybe like a snake or fox, they can turn their image to be human being, like a beautiful lady to flirt with some guy. <laughs> but once, in look, uh, once uh, his uh, heaven eye open, they're looking to this guy, all the truth out. Next, we visit the main temple. This is the, the grand hall. Then the one sits in the middle is, um, uh, is uh, Sakamuni Buddha. He is the founder for the Buddhism. Then he also the highest uh, uh, lord in the, all the universe. Then to most Chinese people, we believe that. If we always believe, uh, behave good after we passed away, we were riding on the crown, flying to the paradise to meet Amitabha Buddha in the Western Pure Land. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. to you, maybe all of them look very similar. They do. But I have to tell who is born. Among these uh, many divas and Buddhas, there's one of particular interest, a lady Buddha. Buddha's idea is to make people be wise to help yourself. Mm -hmm. So, Lady Buddha, once people call her, mm -hmm. then she will come to you and help you. Finally, in the northernmost temple, we visited the eponymous Jade Buddha. Photography was not allowed, so I've taken this picture from uh, the internet. The Jade Buddha is housed in a temple on the northern boundary of the complex. 
Second story of a structure surrounding a courtyard. Typical Chinese courtyard. It's featured in their architecture. Okay, I suppose we're getting about ready to depart these premises. As we were at the point of leaving, we came upon a ceremony in progress. Soon Mr. Ling had us traveling down the expressway through modern Shanghai on our way to the domestic airport in our flight to Huangshan. <laughs> 